What is up, you two? It's Peter Kitchen. Oh, wow. Two specimen girl. Now, before I start, guys, before I start, guys, guys, go watch the latest episode of Boku no Hero Academia, man. That shit was freaking, bro. I was just shook, man. That was probably one of the best episodes I've seen of Boku no Hero up until now. I'm pretty sure the next episode is gonna get even better, man. Because, bro, bro, like, ugh. I, I want to tell you guys, but just go watch it, man. Just go watch it. That's all I'm saying. But anyways, guys, welcome to a new playthrough. You know, this is an RPG horror game called Specimen Girl. And it's a game created by this man, or this uh, dude named Chester. I, I believe he's a dude. I don't know if maybe it's a girl. I, it, it, never mind. But some person named Chester created this game, man. It's not, it's not done yet. It's just a demo. But it looked really good from the looks of it. And I really wanted to play a new game for you guys. But you know, without further ado, let's get into this game, alright? Let's see, let's see what it got to offer, bro. Cause it looks really good, honestly. <sighs> Prologue. The court says reunion. Oh yeah, I didn't read up too much on the story, guys. I just wanted to see what it had to offer just from playing, so. Yeah, I don't know much of what's gonna go on, but what the heck? You guys hear that? The air is heavy. All I know is that it is a girl, though. That the like the protagonist. I'm pretty sure, cause it's like that's all there was in the in the like the pictures of the game. There's a subtle smell of flowers. Damn, bro, this is this what the background is, man. It's creepy, huh? Uh, girl with pink hair. <gasps> okay. What the? Where are we, bro? Da da da. I can move now. Damn, I got a nice bed, bro. It's a nice room. Got some cool windows. A dim pink light is coming from the stained glasses. Bros, bros. This looks good, bro. I mean, look at this game. This shit looks gorgeous. Bro, shouts out to the developer, man. This is looking clean, bro. Valley Girl Vase with White and Pink Banquet. Yeah, there isn't really much here, so. Huh? Dot, dot, dot. Bro, is she deaf? She can't seem to talk. The door is locked. Huh? Uh. Oh, we're locked in, bro? What the f. What the freak? Dot, dot, dot. Huh? Dot, 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 dot. She, I don't think she could talk, man. What the. Uh. A few minutes later, a loud noise echoed in the room. What the hell, man? What's going on? She's running back and forth. <gasps> She's not even talking. That's weird. Alright, so someone opened the door, though. What the? <gasps> that the question mark, question mark. Uh, the... That's the bookcases with various books on art. Uh... Same exact same thing. Got like a what is a safe station? On the wooden table is a small note written in cursive writing. Read it. Yeah. The pink muse. The pink muse symbolizes benevolence. She's as soothing as your favorite flower scent, as loving as a mother, and as gentle as a spring breeze. The pink muse. Is she the pink muse? I mean, look, she got pink hair. She doesn't seem to talk. That's weird. Huh? Girl with blue hair. Dear Lord, don't you scare me like that. Oh, okay, so she's like, uh... A freaking bitch, man. Jesus. Ah, oh, it's about time someone finally shows up in here. Question mark, what? Well, why isn't she talking, though? Like, the, the, the pink muse. I'm pretty sure she is the pink muse. Uh... Well, don't you have anything to say? Oh, I don't know, maybe explain yourself? Da, 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 da. The girl starts to sign with a desperate look on her face. Are you for real? Don't you have at least the decency to talk to me? Uh... Da, da, da. I don't think she can talk. The pink-haired girl stops her gestures. Yeah, I don't think she can talk. Huh? Wait, why are you... 
She takes a piece of paper on the table and begins to scribble something on it. Oh, she can't talk. She hands it over to the girl with blue hair. You, you, you want me to read this? <laughs> no, dumbass. Of course I want you to read it. She nods. Fair enough. Can't talk. Mute. Woke up here. No idea where I am. Oh, she, she, she is a mute. She can't really talk. Gosh, your handwriting is terrible. Damn, man. This blue-haired girl is such a bitch, man. Jesus. All right, all right. Don't give me that look. All I see is that you are no use for now. <laughs> okay, what? She's gonna start using me or what? Yeah, you and me both, darling. I'm also trapped here for some reason. But now, come with me. I'll show you something. Oh, so we're both trapped in this weird mansion. Beautiful mansion, by the way. I mean, look at this place, man. It looks sick. I'd like to live here. Uh... Oh, this shit is crazy, man. Here you go. I am not familiar with the place, but all I know is there are five doors in this room. The one on the left leads you to your room and the pink corridor. The one on the bottom right leads to the blue room and a blue corridor. That's where I was trapped. As for the other three doors, I can only imagine there is more to it, but they're locked. Da, da, da. Well, I can't say I understand what you just said, but I have to show you something else. Let's go. Ah, oh, crap, I didn't get to read that one. The girl with the blue hair is now traveling with you. Alright, so... You can access the menu by pressing X using... Yeah, alright, so we can save, you know, classic save station. Let me save right quick. File 1. Alright, so we got this blue hair on our party now. What's this? The bus sculpture of a beautiful woman and a small pink rose, a few and a few notes are scattered on the ground. Alright, so I guess we can meet. I'm pretty sure there's more people here. I mean I from the picture I saw there was like I think five characters. But I think this is the quarter where she was trapped. Yeah, this is where the blue haired girl was trapped. On the wooden table is a small note written in cursive writing. Read it. Yeah. The blue muse. Oh, yeah, so this is her. The blue muse symbolizes perfection. She is as proud as a peacock, as witty as a fox, and as cold as a witch's night. Okay, da da da. So, what is yours? Question mark. Well, a blue muse in the blue room and a pink muse in a pink one. That can't be a coincidence, don't you think? <laughs> I suppose I'm overthinking it. Okay, so. Yeah, she knows, man. She knows that, like, that she is the pink muse and the other girls, or she herself is the blue muse. Good. It's right here. What? Oh, so she has something to show me, right? I think it was just... Hmm? Found it. Come, take a look. Among the books is a small lever. It's pulled down. Huh? I believe this is what opened your door. I was stuck in this room before hearing an unlocking sound. After that, I was able to go out. Once I came back into this room, I discovered this lever. Huh, okay, so I'm pretty sure there's gonna be, there's gotta be like a lever in my room. Stop just, just gesticulating? What? Stop gesticulating. I don't understand anything. What? I, I, I don't, whatever. Stop gesticulating. I don't understand anything you're saying. The silent girl points her finger towards the lever. Huh? Oh yes, there might be another lever in your room. So why are you still standing here? Let's go and check it out, yeah. <sighs> mm, it's weird, I wonder why the pink news can't talk. Massive bookcases with various books on art. Among the books is a small lever. It's pulled up. Pull down the lever? Yeah. The lever is pulled down. Well, what are you waiting for? We need to find which room it opens. Nope. Why you talk to me like that, girl? Don't, don't talk to me like that. I, you ain't nothing, alright? Don't disrespect me. Alright, so it opened a door, so let's see what opened. Leave the room right across me? 
Anybody? Oh, yeah, it did. All right. See, I knew it. I knew it would open one of those doors. Dun, dun, dun. Would it be too much to ask for a little gratitude here? I mean, she can't talk. Gosh, so obnoxious. Or gosh, you're obnoxious. On the wooden table is a small note written in cursive writing. Read it? Yeah, yeah. So who's this character? The Black Muse. The Black Muse symbolizes humility. She is as discreet as a shadow and as fragile as a bird and as quiet as the autumn's rain. What the? I thought it like symbolized death or something. I guess we're gonna meet a rather peculiar specimen. The, the, the specimen. That's the title of the game. You still don't think those are related to us? Well, I suppose there are only so much one can expect from you. <laughs> wow, this girl is uh pretty messed up, man. She ain't nice, but she alright, I guess. Alright, so another room. But what? Da, da, da. It's empty. Maybe she's hiding somewhere. I don't know. Let's check it out. <laughs> that can't be. Yeah, I'm... Hey, you! Huh? Show yourself! Oh, she. yeah, I knew she was hiding. Oh, so this is the Black Muse? A small girl with black hair emerged from behind the bookshelves. Uh... Please, don't hurt me. Huh? Hurt you? What in the world are you mumbling about? I, I, I don't know. I'm, I'm sorry. Gosh, another useful encounter. Let me guess. You woke up here and have no idea where you are or why you're here. Yeah, pretty sure we're on the same boat. Y yes, th that is correct. Oh, joy. Have you at least noticed something unusual? Some kind of lever? I'm pretty sure it's gonna be in the exact same spot. A lever? Um... Ah, yes! There's a small lever in one of those bookshelves. And... And... I don't know. I, I was too scared to try and touch it. Really? <laughs> right... Well, if you don't mind, could you do it for us? I promise you it's safe. M me no way, I'm too scared. It's in the bookshelves on your left. You can't miss it. Why would I have to do all the dirty work? Huh? I'm sure you recognize the Call of Duty when you hear it. Go with pink dot dot dot. This is weird. Why can't we pull it? Uh. Dot dot dot. Hey, don't give me those eyes. Somebody has to do it. I mean, you know, really? Is she, is she that lazy, man? Damn, what, what about you? What do you got to say? Da, da, da. Please don't hate me. I, I'm, I'm just too scared to do it. All right, so I guess we got to do it. What's this piano? A beautiful grand piano. All right, let me try then. Massive. Uh... Oh, wait. Oh, she's on the left, right? Among the books is a small lever. It's pulled up. Yeah, pull down the lever. The lever is pulled down. Alright, so I pulled the lever. What do you gotta say, blue haired girl? Da, da, da. It's done. Well, took you long enough. Are you serious? It's like 10 seconds. Uh, so if you'll excuse us, we'll be on our way. Huh? N no, wait! What? Hmm? C could I come with you? I, I, I don't want to stay on my own. <sighs> Figures, fine, you can join, but keep a low profile. Sh sure thing. Alright, so we got a new member. The girl with black hair is now traveling with you. Alright, so we got three girls now. We got a pink haired. We got blue haired and we got the black haired. Alright, so let's meet the new. I, mean, I don't know if this is the last girl, but let's meet the next girl. Red. Is it like fury or anger or something? On the wooden table is a small note written in cursive writing. Read it? Yeah. The Red Muse. The Red Muse symbolizes courage. She is as fierce as a lion and as loud as thunder and as radiant as summer sunlight. I, da, da, da. I don't feel it this time. The last thing we need now is some hot-headed girl. Da, da, da. Hey, why are you laughing at me? 
Mm, all right, I like the color red, so let's see. Yeah, most likely it is it is like a hot-headed girl, but we could be wrong. We could be wrong. Uh, she's probably hiding again. What the? Yeah, she's probably hiding behind the bookshelf. No one. Again? Impossible. I'm getting tired of this. She can't have gone too far. Let's find her. Now. Really? She's not in here? Really? There's nothing here? Oh, there's something in the dustpan. You just found a strange pearl. Do you want to learn more about it, those pearls? Uh... Should we? I mean, is it gonna like... F fuck it, let's do it, let's do it. There are... What's with the I next to the 8? Oh, 18? 18 or 8? I don't know. There are 18 strange pearls in this game. They can be found in various locations by, inter by interacting with your surroundings. Alright, so there's 18 pearls. Strange pearls can be exchanged at the point... <clears throat> Strange pearls can be exchanged at the end of the, at the game to unlock bonus content, so try to collect them all. Alright, so there's collectibles in this game. There's no lever here? Really, there's not a lever? Oh yeah, let's pull that. Oh, she already pulled it. Alright, so that one girl, she already pulled it. Whoever was here. Yeah, yeah, she left. Oh, there she is. Uh. Uh, hello? Hey, you, what are you doing here? Well, hello, nice to meet you too. Don't play pretend. Why are you here? How about showing some gratitude instead? We did set you free after all. So, it was you? How, how did you... You know, levers and stuff. You know about the levers as well? Just, who are you? Ah, <sighs> Listen, we've been walking in circles for hours, so I think it's about time we have a little rest. Now excuse me, but I intend to make the most out of this living room. Okay, so... We got all the girls, I think. I wonder why they don't have names, though. The girl in the blue slowly walked past the girl with the red hair and sat on the chair next to the table, pouring some tea into a cup. With her head low, the girl with black hair sat on the nearest spot available. Confused, the pink-haired girl followed her lead and sat next to her. Incredul- I can't read that word, what is that? Incredulous? The girl in yellow protested. Are you seriously gonna sit and ignore me? Hey, for real? Jeez, what is wrong with you? Resigned, she decided to join the trio. Alright, so I guess we're just gonna chill now? Weird. So, can we finally discuss why we're here? I suppose. I woke up in this red room with no memories whatsoever of how I got here. The door was locked, I found the lever, but it didn't do anything. And then suddenly, the door unlocked itself, just like that. Oh, I see. Then, it's a cycle. Hmm? Well, yes, it's simple logic. The lever in the blue room opened the pink room, which opened the axis to the black room, which opened the axis to the red room. So I guess the lever in the red room opened the axis to the blue room. When I first was able to join the hub, every door was locked, except for the blue corridor. But now that I see the bigger picture, it all makes sense. Ah, I see. But why? Why? This? Why did they like unlock themselves? It's kind of weird, man. All right. Um. But then, how did this room open? Listen, I'm not omniscient here. I can't work miracles. Maybe something was unlocked when the four levers were pulled down. Ah, uh, that would make sense. But that doesn't explain why we're here. I also can't remember that part. It's the same for all of us, right? What in the world could be the reason behind all this? That's strange. I might have a lead. Alright, uh, so the blue haired girl's like the smart one, right? Ah, uh, see, she's like the leader, man. Ah, oh, really? I think it's some kind of reality show. Oh, my. You serious? Some sort of reality show. Uh, a show? Think about it. 
We've been dragged here without knowing why, but the rooms were clearly made for us. The flowers and the fruits around are fresh. I think all of this is a set. But why on earth would we be on a show? What is more without our permission? I don't think I could be on a show. There's nothing special about me. Hmm? By the way, what about her? Why isn't she talking? Uh, she's mute. She's, uh, mute. What? So she can't talk? Like, at all? Yes, I believe this is the exact definition of mute. Well done. Oh my god, she is, uh, mute. What is the word? She's very smug about it, damn, bro. So, can you sign? Da, 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 da. The girl with the pink hair quickly signs and nods. Hesitantly, the girl in black signs back. Uh. Oh no, it, it's nothing. I learned it in books, but I never practice. Sorry if I make some mistakes. Huh, this, wait, wait, what? She learned in some books? Like the books that she read in her room? Or. I'm a little confused because. Whatever, let's just continue. Great, well, at least you can translate for us. Say, if we're trapped in here together, how about we introduce ourselves? At least I'd like to know your names. Yeah. Sorry, but no. Really? <laughs> she said, heck no, I ain't trying to, I, I ain't trying to fuck with y'all, man. Huh? <laughs> Are you for real? It's just a name. What's the matter? As far as I'm concerned, I have no guarantee it isn't one of you who trapped us in here. And as I can't trust you, I don't want to give you any personal information. Really? That's her reason? I can't believe you just said that. No hard feelings. I can compromise. How about code names? Code names? Code names? What the? I. Let's see. A blue muse, a pink muse, a black muse, and a red muse. How about. Rose. Nyor. Rogue. And Azure. Rogue? What is that? Uh. Nyor? Isn't it French? Correct, Nyor. Surely you are full of surprises. Nyor for black, rose for pink, rogue for red, and azure for blue. I think it fits us pretty well. Meh. I guess that will do for now. I really want to know what their names were. If everyone's happy with this, so am I. Good. But wait, no, what? W what do you mean? Ooh, what are we gonna do? Surely we can't just wait here. Personally, I see nothing wrong in waiting for our host. You can't be serious. Listen, whoever planned all this clearly is ahead of us. Now, you're a big girl. If you want to waste your forces looking for a way out, please, by any means, do so. I'll just sit here and enjoy a nice cup of tea. Huh, <laughs> fine. Do whatever you want. I don't care. Anyone's with me on that one? Uh, I'm sorry, but I'd rather stay here as well. Figures. You? Da, da, da. She, she says... Ah. No, no need, no need. It'll be too much of a hassle. We cannot communicate. You stay here. I'll go on my own. Ah, really? You three stay here while I look for a way to get our asses out of here. Fine by me, Colonel. <laughs> as you, you are very smug, man. Alright, so we're rogue and we're just gonna try to find a way out. Alright, let me look in here though. Then bookshelf, books of art, flower banquet. Hey, Nyor. Oh, rogue, is, is it correct? Yeah, you can call me what you want. I'm still not used to those code names. Right, so h how can I help you? Well, uh. Ask about meeting before. Let's ask about her. So, how about telling me a little bit more about yourself? That way, we might be able to see what we have in common that could justify our presence here. Me? Oh, there isn't much to say about me. Anything would do, really. Do you have, like, hobbies or something? Well, yes. I, I like to read uh, a lot. Actually, since I'm not really popular, I spend most of my time in the library. What? Uh, did they have like past lives before getting trapped in this? Like, 
place. It's just weird. It, it seems like it, like the way they talk about, the, the, the way they go about certain things and when they talk about each other, man. You? Uh, uh. Alright, so we can't get along with pretty much anyone. Her, because we can't talk. And, be, and uh, Azure, because she's a. Uh, let's just say she ain't nice. And Nyor, because, well, she's like a bookworm. And freaking Rogue, she's like the athletic type and stuff. Okay, now that I've bragged about it, I have to find a solution to get us out of here. Come on. Hey, now. Hey, now that I think about it, there's something I wanted to check in the red quarter. I, I should start there. The red quarter, alright. Um, maybe this. What about this red thing? A marble statue with a red gem. It has the words red made and engraved on it. If that's supposed to be me, well, damn. Not even close. Alright, so. Red corridor, right? No. Good, now let's see. Alright, so I'm missing some. Bingo! There's a light coming from the stained glass. All I need to do is crash this window open, and here's our free ticket for home. Alright, but I need to find something I can throw at it. The room next door is full of junk. Surely I can find something in here that can do the trick. Alright, so we gotta find something to break out this bitch. Look at a paint, huh? Wooden shelves with various construction tools. Hey, this hammer looks pretty heavy. Now I can do work with that. Alright, so we got a hammer. Oh, we got a hammer, guy. Alright, we gonna break this thing. Alright, let's see. Let's see. Let's go. Let's go. Red and light. Good. Now let's see. Yeah, give me the hammer, bros. Alright, time to see what lies beyond this. Or, what lies beyond... Why did I say this? What the... What? No, that can't be. The windows, they... What? Wait, what? 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 Meanwhile... Uh, meanwhile, so... Those paintings, they're so pretty. The sculptures too. I could almost forget about this whole situation when I look at them. But still, I wonder how Rogue is doing. Maybe I should have come with her after all. What am I saying? I would have been a burden for her. But maybe I can be useful while I'm here. Oh, we can move this. Oh my god, we gotta go check her out. Rogue! Rogue, are you okay? I should wait in here when Rogue comes back. Are you serious? Oh my god, we can't even check on Rogue. Alright, so I guess we just look around and stuff. To the girl. Uh, Alright, let's just talk to the girls. Yes, Nior. What do you want? Ask about holding up, ask about her impressions, ask about Rogue. Let's ask about Rogue, man. About Rogue? Yes, what about it? Uh, she's been away for a long time. Don't you think we should... What she does with her free time is none of our concern. Or none of my concern. Yeah. Now, if you'll excuse me, I'm kind of in the middle of something. S sorry. But Nyor... Hmm? If you weren't... If you really want to do something for me, why don't you find yourself a nice book in this bookshelf and stop wasting my time? But, right. <sighs> Maybe she's right. Maybe she stop worrying too much and just find myself something to read. After all, this place is full of great books. It would be a nice way to kill time, I suppose. Really? Uh, what can I choose? Ah, I could stand here forever. This place feels great. It's almost like I could feel a nice breeze coming from it. No, wait, I can feel something. There's air coming from behind the shelf. Could it be that there's something behind? Azure won't mock me if I ask you for help and there's nothing in the end. I need to ask Rose to help me to move the bookshelf. Alright, Rose, can you help me out real quick? H hey, Rose. Mm -hmm. Can I bother you for a minute? Question mark. Ask for help. Rose, could you help me move this bookshelf on the left, please? <laughs> it's a bit far-fetched, but there might be something behind. Maybe just an air vent, but it's worth a try. Really? Thank you. Thank you so much. Alright, so what's behind this freaking thing? 
Rose in your grab each. <clears throat> Rose in your each grab one side of the bookshelf and under Azure's circumspect watch. Ready when you are, said Nyor. Rose nods to start a push. Alright, what's behind this damn thing? With a big effort, they managed to make it slide on the left, uncovering a hidden passage behind it. Whoa. What in the world? W what's that? A secret passage of some sort. Girls, emergency. What the? Oh, she's good. Girls, the windows, they're fake. It's just an empty room with neon lights in it. What the heck happened? Well, while you were gone, you and Rose found a hidden passage behind the bookshelf. Are you for real? This place is getting shadier and shadier. Yup. Bro, where are we, man? She, She's right. It, it seems it's going to be... <clears throat> she's right. It seems to be going somewhere. Then what the heck are you waiting for? It might be a way out. Let's go. Right, why don't you lead the way? You bet. Alright, uh, let's go. Well, let's check it out. What's behind this passage? What the? No one. Just a staircase leading downstairs. Great. More mysterious rooms. What now? This place is huge. Da, da, da. What's the point of this room anyway? Who could construct such a thing? In a house? Hmm. Weird. What? What now? What is it? Huh? The wall? Rose pointed her finger towards the wall, shaking her face twisted in horror. Oh, what's on the wall? What? On the brick wall lies a picture frame with window glasses. From this side, it's completely transparent and it gives a perfect view of the living room where the girls had tea a few minutes ago. The four girls shivered as they realized they had been watched all this time. What the? <laughs> Bro, who's been watching us? This can't be serious, right? This must be some kind of prank. Could be twisted enough to do that. Whoever it is, now it's clear. We're not alone in here. Da, da, da. No way. I, I don't feel good. Nyor? Nyor, Nyor, I was wrong. An instant, Yor's vision turned into black. Rogue's voice echoed in her head before losing consciousness. In the panic, all she could think about was, now what in the world's gonna happen to us? Damn, bro. Is that it? Damn, bro. Hey, that was a good game, bro. I like it. I dig it. Alright, guys. That's gonna be it for this demo, man. That shit was crazy. I freaking like it so far. My boy Chester, bro, you're doing good on this game. Just saying, man. And if you guys want to play this game, man, the download's in the description. Just saying. But, bro, this game was pretty sick. And I, it has a lot of potential to be a really great game. But, yeah, guys, you know, it's going to be it for today. Uh, I don't know when I'm going to post another video. I'm thinking of making another Chorus Party video, you know, part 10, I think we're on. I don't know. I forget. But, yeah, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed. And I'll see you in the next one, my brothers and sisters. Peace out.